Hi everyone. In this video we're going to be discussing how to actually find an integral of a natural logarithmic function. What that means is what you're looking for is this pattern, 1 over u. When you notice that it's 1 over u, the antiderivative of 1 over u is ln absolute value of whatever the, the u is. Now what this means is there's going to be a lot of u substitution. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to look at our first example. The integral of 1 over 5x minus 2 dx. Now, in this example, there is no antiderivative that's going to give us this. Absolutely none. So the only way that we could actually solve this is we want to make u substitution. We want to create a u substitution. Now, the general rule is your u substitution is typically the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set u equal to 5x minus 2. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the derivative of u du over dx equals to 5. Then my goal is I want to get dx alone, so I'm going to, there's a general rule that you're allowed to just switch these two so that you get dx is equal to du over 5. So all I did was just switch these two, so I get dx equals to du over 5. Now my next step, then my next step is, well, I already substituted 5x minus 2 for u, so this problem now becomes 1 over u instead of dx, dx is equal to du over 5 du over 5. Well, what I'm going to do with this 5 is I'm going to pull it out. 1 over 5 integral of 1 over u du. Now this works because we just went over that the antiderivative of 1 over u is always going to be ln. So that means that this equation becomes 1 over 5 ln absolute value of u plus c. And that's what y equals to. That's my antiderivative. But the problem is I don't want it in terms of u. I always want it in terms of x. So what is u equal to? u equals to 5x minus 2. So this final equation is y equals to 1 fifth ln absolute values 5x minus 2 plus c. And this is my antiderivative. So anytime you notice that's a fraction, set u equal to the denominator. Find your derivative, du over dx equals to the derivative of this is 5. Swap these two, so dx equals du over 5. Make this u plug in du, so since dx is equal to u over 5, plug that into here so you get du over 5. Bring this 5 to the outside, so you have 1 over 5, and the derivative of 1 over u, and 1 over u is ln u, and then resubstitute that u back in. So we're going to do one more, or a couple more actually. Now in this equation, you're going to notice that I don't know how to find this antiderivative. So the first thing you think is, well, let me make u equal to something. Typically, you make u the higher exponent. The reason is, if I make u this exponent, and I find this derivative, it's not going to give me this. But if I make u x squared plus 7, and I find this derivative, that's going to give me du over dx is equal to 2x. Then swap these two, so I can solve for just dx. dx is equal to du over 2x. So then I'm going to go ahead and substitute everything. x over u, du over 2x. Well, I know this worked because look what happened. These x's canceled out, and this 2 is just going to come on the outside. So it's 1 half integral of 1 over u du. But what's the antiderivative of 1 over u? It's just ln u. So it's just going to be 1 half ln absolute value of u plus c. But I don't want to keep it in terms of u. I want to keep it in terms of what u equals to. So it's going to be 1 half ln x squared plus 7 plus c. And that's my final answer y equals 2, of course. Okay, So typically, whenever you're doing the antiderivative of ln, you're always going to do u substitution. And you always want u substitution to be the bottom so that you can get 1 over u that gives you ln absolute value of u. Then you're going to have a problem like this, and it looks complicated, it looks hard, but it's the same exact concept. Look for the higher exponent. The higher exponent's on the bottom. So make that your u no matter what. u equals to x cubed plus 6x squared plus 5. Find your derivative, du over dx equals to 3x squared plus 12x. Then you're going to go, well, does this look like that? It actually doesn't. So before you freak out and go, oh, I did it wrong, can't you take something out of here to make it look like this? I can take out a 3 to make it look like that. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to take out that common number, which is a 3, so I'm left with x squared plus 4x. And look, it looks identical to that. And then I'll swap them because I have to get dx alone. And then I'm going to plug everything back in. OK, 
cancels out, cancels out. What do I do with this 3? I pull it out. 1 over 3, 1 over u, du. What's the integral of 1 over u? ln. So your answer is 1 third ln absolute value of u plus c. But once again, you don't want what u is. You want what u equals to. And that's your final answer. So you always want u to be whatever the higher exponent is, if you can. And if you find your derivative, try to see if you can factor something out to cancel it out. Because when you get that 1 over u, it's always going to go to ln absolute value of u. All right, it's going to be our last one. Now, this one's a little bit different because this one now has ln in it. And sometimes we get confused because, like, wait, how do we even solve this? But when you do use substitutions, you always make your u the, the one that looks a little bit more complicated. Now obviously, if I find my derivative of x, that's going to give me 1. There's no way that's going to cancel out with ln. But what about if I find my derivative of ln? Well remember, the derivative of ln is 1 over x, which looks like that. So maybe it cancels out. So what I'm going to do is I'm always going to set u equal to the inside of the parentheses, the one that looks a little bit more complicated. u equals to ln x. Find my derivative of du over dx is equal to 1 over x. That's the derivative of ln x. But my goal is to get dx alone, so then I'm going to cross multiply x du is equal to dx, which is fine because I have dx alone. So now once I have that, I'm going to substitute everything in. Integral of u to the fourth over x, x du. Will that work out? It did because what happens to these x's cancels out, and I'm just left with u to the fourth du. But then you're going to go, well, this isn't really an antiderivative of ln. So did I do something wrong? No, you did everything right. It's fine. How do you find antiderivative of u to the fourth? Remember, anytime you find an antiderivative of u to an actual exponent other than 1, you do the trick that you add 1, and whatever you get, you put it on the bottom. So this becomes u to the fifth over 5 plus c. But you don't want to leave it like that, because remember, you don't want u, you want ln. You want what u equals to. So this is ln x to the fifth over 5 plus c, and that's what y equals to. So when you have a problem like this, even though it looks complicated, make your u what's complicated. Because chances are that's going to be the correct u and that's how you know you did it right. Alright guys, thanks for watching.